God is at work. You know, sometimes life feels or gets overwhelming. Seems like when it rains, it pours. We're bombarded with one issue after the other. You know, in John 16, verse 33, Jesus said, in this world, you will have many tribulations, meaning that there will be many tribulations in this world. The will be of good cheer, he has overcome the world. We also know from 1 John 5, 19, that the world is full of wickedness. Sometimes you wonder, you watch the news or something's happening in your own life and you wonder why, how? Not to worry. We are assured that God is at work. Because in Philippians 2 verse 13, it says, For it is God who works in you to will and to do for his good pleasure. Meaning God is at work in you. And you know, Romans 8 28 tells us even more that we know that all things I know we've heard it said before that not just one thing, but all things work together for the good of those who love God. So if you love God, know that everything is working together for your good because you love God and you are called according to his purpose. Be encouraged. God is at work. Please say that with me. Say God is is at work yes he is he's at work in your life and nobody does a better job than God himself and he's working for you with you he loves you he's at work and so whatever issue it is that you're facing be reminded God is at work you will rejoice you will testify in Jesus' name, amen. And just before we go, I'm reminded of last week's devotional that bread is not enough. Bread represents human efforts. Man will not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So even as we're encouraged today, knowing that God is at work, I want to remind you to feast on his scriptures to keep his word at the forefront of, your, forefront of your mind. The fact that you're watching this tells me that you're doing just that. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. God is at work. See you soon.